little C for conservative, big C for coward. Conservatives have larger fear center in brain, by Daniel Tenser. Political opinions are considered choices, and in Western democracies, the right to choose one's opinions, freedom of conscience, is considered sacrosanct. But recent studies suggest that our brains and genes may be a major determining factor in the views we hold. A study at University College London in the United Kingdom has found that conservatives' brains have larger amygdalas than the brains of liberals. The amygdala, or also known as the fear center. Amygdalas are responsible for fear and other primitive emotions. At the same time, conservatives' brains were also found to have a smaller anterior cingulate, the part of the brain responsible for courage and optimism. The anterior cingulate for courage and optimism. In the courage and optimism department, conservatives have been short-changed, like Princess and crybaby Glenn Beck, a coward. Beck's anterior cingulate cortex is tiny, and coward Dick Cheney, who took five deferments from Vietnam, yet insists that all patriotic Americans should serve in the military. Of course he excludes himself, and his yellow tutu. Like John Boehner, another coward, as yellow as they come, a complete wussy, sissy, and crybaby. He and wussy Glenn Beck, a coward, buy their Kleenex tissue in bulk. Conservatives are proverbial crybabies. Evil, yes. Coward, absolutely. Sissy crybaby and coward John Boehner cry so much, he should be hospitalized for fear of dehydration. He's an abject sissy. The physical attributes of our brains can't be changed and are largely determined by genetics. War criminal and coward Bush poses as a tough guy, but he's actually the cowardly lion, a complete wimp, and sissy, the new Speaker of the House, Wussy Boehner, a crybaby. Then there's drug addict, big mouth, and pussy Rush Limbaugh, a big mouth, and a draft dodger who took deferment from Vietnam, because he's a coward. Of course, big mouth Limbaugh acts tough, but he's actually just a little pussy. Reese, who heads up UCL's Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience, was originally asked half-chokingly to study the difference between liberal and conservative brains for an episode of BBC 4's Today Show that was hosted by actor Colin Firth. But after studying 90 UCL students and two British parliamentarians, the neurologist was shocked to discover a clear correlation between the size of certain brain parts and political views. 